Hello everyone, welcome back to Light Empowerment. I am your host AJ. Today our topic of discussion is about depression. To be honest, this topic that I'm coming to discuss, these are personal experiences that I saw that people are really going through in this place. It really saddened me up when I saw youths from the age of 28 down to 20 being so depressed and this is the same condition this are the same condition that they were in just just to come to this place their whole dream was to come to the so-called paradise of the world you know they complain when they were back home they complain they criticize and they sacrifice and then come to this place they come to this place. They didn't saw what they were showing on the TV. Their life is all being messed up. Some of them that cannot control their emotion. Spiritually, they are damaged. Worst of all, they came to places where, you know, most want to see us being affected spiritually and then mentally. It is really sad when I saw young youths on the street cannot even take care of their self, cannot even have personal hygiene and they said they are in Europe. They were living better back home then. Now they cannot explain this to anybody. They are keeping it all on their self. If you explain these things to youths that are in ba that are back home, they don't trust you. If you explain it to some family members, they will not understand you. All these things driving these youths here crazy. If I see young youths sitting on the street, going mad, very young, energetic, handsome young men are going crazy here, man. Believe me, very young, active, healthy youths are dying here. They are not dying because of hunger. They are not dying because of their sick. They are just dying because they are mentally damaged, spiritually damaged. Because their dreams are being scattered. It's sad. My brother, before this thing happens to you, please get up and do something. Wake up. You see, things don't come at the time that we really need them. But they come if we walk towards them. Most of us here are lucky they are in projects. Those that are in projects, so-called projects. No matter how bad that condition is, you are not paying your rent. You are not paying your food. Those are the basic need of human being. And you are going to school. But because of depression, some youths are in the, they, are, they are in these projects. They are going crazy. You see, in some of these projects, People that you think can change your life? No. Here people, nobody can change your life. People can only help you to certain degree. The rest you are to do it for yourself. We all know how these projects work. Even if you go to the projects, they do tell you. We will show you the way. But you will lead the way. It's sad. It's really sad. My brother, you have to love yourself. You don't expect not to have good personal hygiene. You expect people that don't even like you when you are having your good personal hygiene. Talk less, you are not having good personal hygiene. You expect those people will love you. How can those people help you, in fact? You have to go out and then socialize. 
You cannot sit alone and then keep these things alone for yourself. You have to talk to your friends. You have to talk to your family members. Explain the situations here to them. If you don't explain this situation here to them, they will even make it worse. Because the pressure, pressure is all coming from them. But if you explain the situation that we're going through here, they are the ones that can help you. You see, this life is reciprocal. If you were one time helping them, things are tough. They can also help you, either in cast or in kind. But the youths are really in depressed. And this is a sickness. Honestly, today I went to job, but I couldn't enjoy it. Because I was, I was thinking. I was thinking so deep seeing very young, energetic boys that I know three years back. Today, if you see them, they are like 40 years old. They are old. Old, not in just because of how depressed they are. It's sad. We all have responsibilities. We all have our own personal problems. These people that you think, I, I, as I was saying, can help you in this political they cannot. You are staying with somebody for, 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 for four good years. That person cannot even bought a car for himself, him or herself. You expect that person to change your life? Wake up. That is why I was telling you, it's all here. These people cannot change your life. The choices are on your hands. If things are difficult here, you already system your life here. Your documents are already intact. Move to the other part. Make contacts. Connections. Occupy it yourself. Do some exercise. If you're not working right now, do some exercise. Go out. Run. Free up your mind. Talk to your loved ones. Your parents. Explain. Talk to them. Communication is very important. But this is sad. Brother, you can do it. Wake up every morning. Do it as I do. Look at yourself in the mirror and say, I am handsome. I am strong. And I'm a black man or I'm a black woman. Even if the world is against me, I will survive. Let me just leave you with this last word of Harry Tottenham. She said she could have three thousands of slaves or hundreds of slaves if only they knew they were slaves. These people that you put your life, you think they can help you? They cannot. They can just push you to... They will kill you with promises. And then so many of these youths that I saw are de de depressed. It's because of the broken promises that they have. And the dreams that they were expecting, they were not seeing them. Wake up. If this side is not going, this other side will go. You have to be strong. But only if you knew you are strong. But all those potentials, know that you have it. It's only mind control. This is what I have for you and I hope you will learn from me. Thank you very much.